This recording was made April 23, 2012. It's a recording of me riding Choctaw on my two-mile horse trail along Middle River. I no longer try to mount before I go across the bridge because as I'm going on, every recording I've made has suddenly images appear on the bridge railing and they fly off. My horses see it. And here is a light beam. This is the first time I've recorded it. There you go. You can see this light beam is very accurate. I mean, they can get it right in their eyes, so that's what makes them shake their heads. It's hard to believe that they could do this from a large drone in the sky, but they certainly can. See, here's other images that are starting to take shape. And they have depth. They're like 3D images. They appear to be sticking out of the railing. This is Varley's farm buildings here. So here's other images on the rail starting to form. There's a face, 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 face. It's a little white dog there. Other kind of animals. And again, this is Varley's one set of buildings right here. Bridge lighting up. And the thing in the sky is the light beam, but when the sun hits it in a certain way, it appears dark. And it always has this large square object at the end. So I, sometimes it looks like a neon ball. Other times it's just brown. This is why my horses are so terrified. And the image balls look like an Easter egg sometimes. A lot of the photography that I've taken, um, they're different colors, different shades. Sometimes they're more muted like this one. Other times they're far more vivid. They're definitely right after her. And her face, you can see, they come and shave my horses around the uh, white areas on their body. Every horse has a different pattern that they put around uh, their shaved areas. This one they like to put all kinds of images around her eyes so when they shine their light on it, it looks like it's uh, them inside of her eye, a face. If you look behind, she, she's watching the images. If you look over here, there's a man, image of a large man. Right here above the bridge. You see all the shaved areas here. And it almost looks like faces and bodies and that appear. There's a blast of images. And just get so terrified. And 
that's a laser and a, a light beam and I don't know what you call the other and the bridge you can see the bridge how they light the bridge up it's like the lightning I mean a big image projected lights up the bridge looks like people's are inside of the bushes with large faces and the light beam there's the beam above when I'm outside my face I just have to constantly wipe my face it feels like I have like a Dirt, dust or dirt puffed on it. This is Brian Abbott's place right here. And every time I go for a trail ride, there's bright lights at that place. I don't see them when I start, but then they start. So we'll go through the stills. And over the bridge, images forming on the rail. And you can see images of people here and there. Now oh, it's an intricate game, very much so. My horses are seeing. Right in her eye. The accuracy just amazes me. But when I'm looking at them, you can see inside when, when they have this image, there's images of faces and animals and cartoon characters that are visible inside of her eye. Almost looks like a big big lips in the sky, but see this repeatedly. And these neon Images. I think the neon this is, is what's at the end of the long line in the sky. That's what I think. But since I've never been right about anything, why listen to me? You can see the uh, images that they put around her eye. I don't know how I can do that better. There. And when they shine that spotlight on it, then it lights up. There, I hit her right in the eye. Right in the eye. Big blast of light. You can see the faces in the trees. Poor terrified eye. Brian Abbott's place and the bright lights. He always parks his tractor ride over there.